Hey everyone, it's Norm from Tested, and for today's show and tell, we are diving back into the wonderful world of book nook dioramas. Uh, this is one of our favorite style of dioramas. They've really exploded in popularity over the past two years. We can't get enough of them, but if you're not familiar, uh, they're essentially a, a diorama that's made to look like the form factor of a thick book that lives on your bookshelf, kind of squeeze between you know these big coffee table books that you may have on like an Ikea bookshelf. And because of the form factor, because they basically almost look like the width of a spine of a book, uh, it makes it look like you're peering into another world, uh, even though uh, it's right there on that bookshelf, a book nook. Uh, and back in 2019, one of the very first popular ones that popped up on Reddit uh, was made by a maker named Kai Van. He did this Japanese uh, alleyway that was really beautifully done and made great use of this mirror, this angled mirror in the back to extend the scene beyond the dimensions of the book nook. And since then, Kai uh, launched a Kickstarter campaign. He's done a couple of different versions of that design, one based on a wizarding world, one based on an Italian alleyway, and now this new one based on a medieval alleyway. And he sent me one of his prototypes because he's launching this as a crowdfunding campaign that you can check out today. So this is his medieval alleyway book nook. And it really is based on that same template design that he worked with way back with the Japanese alleyway. Uh, you have the form factor here, which is basically about three and a half inches wide. On the side, it's a uh, nine and a half inches tall by eight inches. So it's not that much of a build volume on the inside uh, for him to build this scene out, but he has done it to really, really, nice effect. Uh, the two wall facades on the inside wall have really good different uh, relief. So you have these windowsills with some mixed media, some greenery, shrubbery on top, even a, a plant box here. And actually, let me turn this light on because it is lit up. Uh, there are two LED lights, and I'm going to add my own light here so you can get a better look on the inside. But basically, like I mentioned, the two inside walls aren't flat. There's nice dimensional relief on uh, both the engraving on the wood as well as some of this exterior facade, uh, beams, the windowsills, windows themselves, and doorways and signage that gives it a nice feel and consistent with the theme of this. Um, looking further back, you see that angled mirror, and at the top here it is lowered in because uh, that's where the battery pack is. So the two lights uh, run off of four AA batteries. There's this switch here that I can switch off and on. And then in terms of the LEDs, there is uh, an LED right under the battery pack that provides a little bit of an ambient light. And then there's also this street light as well. And the street light's really neat because it's placed this placement where uh, the mirror is right behind it. And then when you look at the street light and then you look beyond into the mirror, you see another street light, which is that same one, but then extended. And then also you might notice in the mirror, there's the doorway that reads Dragon Tavern and it reads correct. And that's because it makes sense. He's laser cut it and cut it out, reverse mirrored in a place uh, where you normally wouldn't see it. And so some clever tricks of the eye where if you look at it from one direction, you know, this street sign, this door uh, in sign, the duck in reads correctly. And then if you look deeper into the scene, it really is a convincing illusion that the scene extends beyond this eight inches of the uh, the book nook uh, diorama. The scene here is also littered with a couple accessories. So you can place things like barrels, crates, you know, assortment of medieval weapons or creatures. And they're offered, you know, things like this little wooden cart that you can place in or 3D printed dragons. And every little bit kind of adds a little bit more life so it doesn't look as much like an empty street. Um, and one of the things that I wish you could do though is open up 
this book nook. Uh, Jen from our team in designing her book nook designed it in a way where the sides actually kind of magnetically attach and the whole thing can slide apart so you can do some more interior set dressing or painting or weathering or customization. And while there is a little bit of customization you can do here on the inside in terms of placing things, this is basically a, a prefab unit. It comes ship like this and the construction is sturdy you know it's not just glued together uh there are also you know nuts and screws here that interlock everything the top panel revealing really nicely laid out wiring but i do wish this was a model kit that you he shipped flat packed with instructions so i could customize it and put it together myself and because i love that interior lighting uh, if i'm going to have this on my bookshelf i'm going to want that light on all the time uh, and so i do wish also there was an option to have this powered uh, from a wall outlet and not just from the double a batteries now it wouldn't be difficult to just drill a hole in the back here and do a little bit of rewiring to get it working with an ac outlet uh, but you know, right now, the only option that he does sell is the battery powered version. And another thing is that, you know, looking at the exterior here, it's it's a little plain. And one of the things I do like about book nooks isn't just the ability to display them on a shelf squeezed between books, but also that as a freestanding diorama, they are also pretty striking. And Jen from our team, her book nook design had this really lovely exterior um, layering uh, with walnut. And so inspired by her idea, I went ahead and loaded up Adobe Illustrator and did a little bit of design of my own, cut on the Glowforge uh, and came up with this frame idea to make it look a little more like a book. And so I'm gonna glue these into place and then also have a little bit of just kind of generic medieval detail. Um, just to give it a little more of an external personality uh, in case I don't want to squeeze these between a couple of books. Adding this one sheet of uh, laser cut ply isn't going to ruin that ability either. So this medieval alleyway is part of a new Kickstarter campaign going on right now uh, that Kai's launched, and I'll include links to that as well as the mini alley website in the description and comments below in case you're interested. And you know, it's really well built, well thought out, well constructed design, but also based on a very tried and true design that he's iterated on over four designs now. And since he designed his first book nook back in 2019, the world of book nooks has really expanded. There are so many different ones that you can find on places like Reddit and Etsy, and there are a lot more options out there. And And I just I want him to go take it one step further, and hopefully his next design uh, will mix things up just a little bit, maybe in terms of material, uh, theme, uh, or just uh, the assembly of it all. Uh, it does work well as a part of the collection of designs that he's put out there, and maybe some of the tricks that he's used, like the mirror effect and mirroring the text here are things that you out there can take as inspiration for designing your own book nooks. Uh, we love putting these together. We love checking out the ones that people have designed out there. Uh, and if you've made your own, please share with us in the comments below. I'd love to take a look. But thank you so much for watching. Happy book nook building at home, and I'll see you next time.